Hi guys, welcome back to Home Life Love. Today I'm going to be choosing out my new makeup basket. It's been a couple of weeks since I've cho I chose any new items for my makeup basket because I was just really enjoying the last one that I chose. So I have been going from draw to draw choosing out my makeup baskets. And in the top drawer, I have Urban Decay. The second drawer, I have Too Faced and Lorac products. Over here, I have Becca and... Hmm. I have Tarte and Too Faced here. And up here, I have Lorac and Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's what it is. And then in this one, I have Morphe and Makeup Revolution. That was my last draw. And then this week... This is my random draw. This has a lot of different things in it. And I'm really excited about this because this week I'm not going to be wearing foundation. I am going to be doing a deep cleaning system for my face. Not a system that is all put together that's purchased that way as much as I'm going to be doing a mask every single day. And I'm going to be using a lot of the products that I have that are like for deep cleaning. And so, and I'm just, I just noticed that I'm getting a lot of little texture over here. So I'm just going to leave my face alone for a week outside of my skincare. So this is what I have in this drawer. These are all just a bunch of mixed palettes. I have all of my Buxom palettes in here and I absolutely love these Buxom palettes. Um, but I think the last time I went to these items, I pulled my Buxom. So I'm going to try to pull something different. This is just a random container I have with um, lip colors in here. And since I'm not going to be wearing um, any foundation, I'm definitely going to be pulling out lots and lots of lip, of lip products. Um, for the fall, I had all this big idea of all the different things that I'll be doing for the fall, but it's like I'm still going with my nude. I can't seem to get away from it. But I'm thinking that some of these kind of berry colors like this will be nice. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that pretty? Whew, child. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this. And this is a BH Cosmetic Color and Cosmetics. And I don't even know the name of the color anymore. I took all of the markings off of it because I thought it looked a little bit more shishi. Let's see. What else do I have? I have this color right here from e.l.f. This is the Touch of Berry. This was gifted to me from Miss Julia from Accessorize Your Life. And this is really, really a beautiful fall color because it is so, it's still nice and light, but then it gives you just the perfect amount of a punch of color. And I find that when I put this on with like a nice deep berry kind of a lip liner, it is absolutely scrumptious. Look at how this one right here, see how those two go so well together? I'm going to be pulling this. This is the, this is Portel, of course, Lancome Portel. This is one of my favorite line, lip liners I have. And I'll be using it with this touch of Berry from e.l.f. Then I have this Kevin Aquan color. And yeah, I think this screams fall, right? Yeah, I'll pull this right here, back. I have not pulled this MAC Fashion Fanatic in quite some time, so I'll be pulling this one right here out, and I think that this beautiful deep berry right here will be great with this combination here. And, I mean, this one is just filled with lots and lots of berries. Yep. And then this highlighter blush, whatever this is, is absolutely gorgeous. And so I will pull this out. Okay. These, okay, these are my Nika K makeup palettes that are, I guess they are kind of like um, imitations of the Huda Beauty colors that she has out. And... These palettes are so beautiful. There are two more that I said I would not get, but I am definitely going back for them because each and every one of these palettes are, I pull them out and I feel like, oh, I only have two eyes. I wish I had more eyes when I pull these out because they are so beautiful. This is the Mocha Mix. Then there's the Poison Apple. 
Under the Sea, and then the Autumn Spice. Uh, which one? I want to swatch one of them. I'll swatch this one right here, Under the Sea. These, this one has the more difficult array of colors, but um, I want to just show you. This one right here is almost the exact same color as my skin. Okay, so these are all of the colors. They are so pretty. And so I'm going to choose all of those because with the autumn mix and the mocha mix, you can literally get so many different nice neutral shades, nice neutral looks, but then adding a splash of color from the under the sea. It's like I don't necessarily wear very colorful looks anymore, not on a daily basis anyway, but these right here, I mean, they are just, look at this one. This one right here, I think I have used the most. This one, because it is this color right here. Look how beautiful it is. It is so beautiful. It's not even really even picking up on camera just how gorgeous it is. But they are very, very beautiful and I absolutely love them. So I am definitely, I was looking forward to pulling these again. I really was because I'm just head over heels in love with them. I have a couple of Mally palettes over here I haven't pulled in some time. This is the Nude Attitude. And this is really, really pretty. And that screams full. This um, russet color is... Oof. I don't know if you can even see that because it's so close to my skin tone, but it gives such a beautiful effect. I will pull this one. Is that it? Let's see, I have all of these little tiny Smashbox palettes. Let's see if I'll pull any of these. I already have something neutral like that. Mm. Let's see. Maybe this one here. This kind of looks like this nude attitude. Or maybe it'll just go well with it. Maybe it'll just go well with that one, huh? Yeah. So I am pulling my Smash Smashbox Smoky Eye palette. And I think this one looks exactly like the Mally palette, so I won't pull that now. These are usually palettes that I travel with okay i guess that is it i will close up this drawer and put all of my items into my bag okay so from here i am going to show you the skincare products that i'm going to be using for the week i'm definitely pulling this pons uh pure detox facial foam i really really like this for thoroughly cleaning my skin i purchased this for the first time at the Dollar Tree, but they do sell this in the um, drugstore as well. This is a great detox for your skin. I also pulled my Alginist um, with Algoronic Acid, and this is a gentle rejuvenating cleanser, and this is very gentle for the skin. It foams up like on, like a foam that just goes onto your skin and skin st sticks to your skin. I really, really like this. So I will be using this. I'm going to take a day to basically use a different cleanser each day, but they're all gentle cleansers. I went to pull these right here, but then I realized that they were pretty much empty, so they're not really going to work out. I will try to empty those out another week. Um... I have my Pericone MD Daily Foaming Cleanser. This one is really good. It is very gentle on the skin, but it, then it definitely cleans your skin. I am only not going to use that one, pull that one, because I think I will go with this Estee Lauder cleanser that I have been using as of late. When I purchased my foundation, I received this right here free, and this is a really good sample size, and it's been going strong. You need such a small amount of it. It's very gentle on your skin, but then it thoroughly cleans out your skin. So I will be using that. So for my masks, I have a container here with my masks in it. And I have some from Charming Charlie's that um, just went out of business. And these are really, really good. But I use these more like a serum 
I guess all masks are serums for the most part anyway, especially if the other mask that you leave on. But um, this one right here, I will definitely be using. I use this one today. And then I have these Red Earth Spa clay masks and I will be using these. These are a rinse off mask and they are very, they are, they definitely clean through your skin. And so I will be using those. And then I have this coffee mask that I bought in a pack of eight, I believe. And these definitely give your face a nice tightening feeling and I really do like them so I will be using this another day and then for any problems that I have like I have a little pimple next to my mouth I'll be using this benefit mask and this is a spot mask that just goes over any kind of skin eruptions that you have and so I'll have that one as well and then I have this Pericone MD so maybe I will put my Pericone MD um daily foaming cleanser in rotation because this is a mask a firming foam mask that i really really like and i think i will be using this in connection with the foaming cleanser because i usually clean my skin and then i put the mask on and let it sit and then i rinse it off so i will be pulling the other one so these are all of the items that i will be using to really really handle my skin this week it's a lot of different products um it's, I don't, none of these are harsh cleaners, so I think they should be okay. And if I notice that my skin is going through a little bit too much, I will definitely pull out anything that's, you know, that's just too much and I'll just stick to one. I'll more than likely just go to my um, Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean because that's what I have been using as of late and it's been doing really well on my skin. So that's it. I'm super excited about my makeup palettes for this week. These are, I think I'm going to have lots and lots of fun with my eyeshadows, especially since that's all that I'm going to really be doing this week, my eyeshadows and my brows. I tried to do my brows last night so that I wouldn't have to get up and do so much. I saw a video from Jackie Naturals where she did her brows at nighttime, which she uses something that will last overnight. I didn't. And I woke up this morning and I said, wow, my brows look so terrible. So I... It was just the funniest thing. But anyway, now that I'm not going to be doing any face products, I will definitely have time to do everything else I need to do that I normally don't really have much time for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and come back again. And hopefully I will see you in a few days with another home life video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.